Hello everyone, this is Simon with Premium Plus, uh, here to discuss further our advances on ChatGPT integrations and our ChatGPT app that's coming up soon. So first I want to just demonstrate the app. That's the easiest um, with some example tickets that you might receive in your Zendesk inbox. So first ticket as an example is a simple a question basically. So a customer is wondering if we can do migrations from Intercom to Zendesk. And that's just a question. Can you do it? Yes or no. So the app we've built that leverages chat GPT to form answers is um, in the ticket editor down below. So you just have a new button and that gives you a range of, uh, answers you can you can send to the client so as this is a basic yes or no question it's pretty easy to answer with a yes and a no intent but you also can ask for more information you can consult any documentation and you can just rephrase uh, what is currently written but i'll discuss those later so first starting off let's assume i we can't do migrations from Intercom to Zendesk, the agent can select the intent no, and ChatGPT will form an answer based on that intent. So this might take a while, but um, it's coming up. There you go. So ChatGPT uh, greets the customer and thanks him for his message, boilerplate stuff, and then says, unfortunately, we can't migrate the data. Now, in this case, Obviously, we can do it, so let's select yes. And ChatGPT should answer affirmatively. Here we go. So yes, we can definitely migrate your data from Intercom to Zendesk. There you go. So not all questions, obviously, are going to be yes and no questions. Uh, let's assume that I need more information to complete or to answer this, uh, this ticket. I'll click on more information and it will ask for more details as you would expect. It's taking, okay, there you go. So it uses bullet points here, not my favorite, but uh, okay. These are the questions that could help in, in getting more context to answer this question. Um, if I don't really like this suggestion, I can just click the button again and a new one will be generated. There you go, this one is more wordy, but yeah, I would like this one a lot better. So I could use this one to answer the client. So this next ticket is a question on Zendesk. So for our customer service, we get a lot of questions about Zendesk, obviously. So uh, to make our lives easier, we've added a uh, button to search documentation, uh, the Zendesk documentation for the answer. So I'm going to click this already because it's, uh, this will take a little longer. There are more steps involved here. But the question is from a customer that has trouble with their Zendesk triggers. There's too much triggers and it's getting lost a bit. So we've searched the documentation and uh, here's what we've come up with. So this is a paraphrased um, answer from the documentation um, and ChatGPT also knows how to combine answers from multiple articles from the documentation. So it really condenses the best answer here. So that's the uh, demonstration for the docs button. And last but not least, we have the rephrase uh, button. So if your ticket can be answered with a yes and a no or affirmatively and negatively, or you can ask for more information, that's pretty clear. But there are plenty of tickets we imagine that don't have a clear cut intent for the agent to reply. So you can always just type what you want to what you want to ask. So and ChatGPT will try to make that what you type a little more expanded and a little more customer friendly. So we read this ticket and we see a customer that wants to get started on this project. 
and he wants to do so as quickly as possible. So let's assume we want to answer. We can start next month. We can ask ChatGPT to make it a little more customer friendly. Let's click on rephrase and it will write a nice text. There you go. And it really acknowledges everything that the client is writing. So it's not like a macro without much context. It understands. Um, and then also a nice feature of this rephrase is that you can rephrase just parts of your message. So let's assume this is good, but we want to ask for some details on the customer's API, for example. So we can write uh, share API details by tomorrow. I like this text, ask to rephrase, and it makes a nicer sentence out of this. So this could change your agent's workflow a lot, we think. It could save them a lot of time. Um, for now, we can customize it to anybody's specifications. So if your customers, uh, your agents don't really would be good with the yes, no, or more info, um, we can change these and provide training to the model. Obviously, the documentations can be any source. So it could, uh, for example, search your help center articles instead um, or any other external uh, data that you have. So the, the options are limitless, basically. So this app is not really intended as a one size fits all. It's more of a customize this to your needs and uh, will help you configure it to get the best results possible. So yeah, that was a quick overview of where we are. And uh, obviously for more questions, please get in touch and then we can see if we can work together and uh, get something started for you. Thank you until next time.